Okay, welcome to this tutorial. In this video we are going to set up your Aweber list and then import some messages and then we are going to get the proper codes so you can tie your Aweber into your system. This video shouldn't take too long to do but there is a certain amount of steps but I've got this text file and you can download the text file right underneath this video. Uh, you'll see it on the right hand side of my screen here. I'm scrolling it right now. I'm going to leave it open the whole time that I'm doing this video and I'll just keep scrolling down it a little bit one at a time so you can see that what I'm doing is actually what is in the text file. Uh, this is a very easy thing to set up so just take your time and go through it one by one. The very first thing you want to do is you want to open a browser window and you want to go to aweber.com and then click on the sign in link in the top right corner and you should come to a login page like this just enter in your login credentials and click log into my account. Now if you remember in one of the other videos this is an account that we had set up just a test account you can see that we've got leads already coming in so what I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna create a brand new list here and then it's gonna be set up just like this so the first thing you wanna do inside here is in the top left corner here click create and manage lists And that, as you see in the text file here, is step one. Then step two is create a, click the create a new list button. Then step three, we're going to do the basic settings. So right now, let's click create a new list. And then we're on the basic settings section. So here you want to just give it a list name. Now you can make this anything you want. So uh, just come up with something creative. I'm going to just try something here. Okay, this one is okay. Free fast vid. So that's what my list name is going to be called. And then just uh, give it a list description. Now you're going to put in your name and your email address. So for the purposes of this one, I will just. And then when you scroll down here, uh, if you want to get notified of every time somebody will opts into your site, you just put in, oops, now the email that you're going to put in here is, it's going to be your own email, I'm just doing this as a demo purpose here, then just click the add here. And then what you want to do is you want to click on save settings and Aweber took us to the very next step. Now in the text file you'll notice I've got click next step. If it automatically takes you to the next step you don't have to do it okay so just be very cognizant of what's happening here. So we're at this step right now. Complete the personalize your list section. So if you see in Aweber here personalize your list that's the tab we're on. So you wanna just personalize it so so you'll put in your own company name. Now if you don't have a company name you can leave it blank and then you want to put in your domain now email signature. Now if you look in the text file here we've got a sample a sample um, signature here. So what you want to do is just make up something like that. The very minimum, the very minimum you want to put in the signature file is your full name. So for now, just for the purposes of this, I'm just going to just, I'm just going to put my name and my email. Okay. And then we're going to scroll down so you can see in the text file to the right here I say skip part two which is this social media sharing because you don't really need that right now until you, unless you want to dig into it a little bit later part three in the snippet sections now this is very important because this is going to be the part that's going to merge into your pre-written emails so here you're going to have to copy this exactly so 
snippet number one in the create a new snippet name field type this so I'm just gonna highlight this whole thing fast cache underscore domain so right over here you wanna paste that and then in this snippet text field you want to enter your domain name without the HTTP colon slash slash you want to include the trailing slash so I've got a sample here so this of course is going to be your domain name so you just want to paste it in there you actually want to type in your own domain there forward slash go forward slash and then click the add button and then that was created for you and then we'll go back over to the text file here and you see the next one for fast cash underscore my name so you want to just copy that and then in the name field you want to paste it right in there now in the value here you want to put in your full name and then click the add button there you go so now let's go to snippet number three snippet number three is going to be simply your first name so copy this snippet va the snippet name here and then in the value field just put your first name and click add and then we're gonna go to snippet number four it's clickbank ID so paste in that snippet code and then just put your clickbank ID and then click add and that's it for the snippets so once you've done that click the save settings now again you will see that the screen just changed so I'm just going to scroll up here and you'll see it's on confirmed opt-in let me just find that here there we go step five complete the confirmed opt-in section so uh, editing the confirmed opt-in email now you can skip this section but I suggest you just do it um, even though you're gonna have confirmed opt-in turned off to to grow your list a little bit quicker you can just uh, just fill this out to please a Weber and uh, then it, the pop-up won't show up for you telling you to do it so I'm just gonna say please confirm your please confirm your subscription edit the intro okay for edit the intro um, you just have to edit a little bit of this text here and then for the edit the signature area put a custom closing and that should be it now require opt-in on web forms click the off button here and then click yes and it'll go red like that and then that's it so just click the save settings button and then here you're gonna have to click the next so once you've clicked the next button it's gonna it may just leave you on this page but what you're gonna do here is you're gonna mouse over messages at the top and you're gonna click follow up now here's where you'll add your messages but what we're gonna do for you is you're gonna just load in the campaign so in your text file again you're gonna see over here this code here so what you wanna do is you wanna copy that exact code and then right here you wanna paste it okay so just paste that code and click load campaign and there you have it all of these messages are preloaded for you now the very next step you're gonna see on the text file here you're gonna create your opt-in form code same thing it says right here so just click the do this step and this is gonna be very very simple all you have to do here when you see this you don't have to change a thing just click save web form then click go to step two here you can name your web form and then the thank you page you want to open this up and you want to put custom page and here you're going to put your domain so it's
So it's going to be yourdomain.com forward slash go forward slash O-T-O dot P-H-P. Again, it's yourdomain.com forward slash go forward slash O-T-O dot P-H-P. Now click Save Web Form. And then go down here and click Go to Step 3. And that's it. Now you're at the I will install my form. You want to click that. And then here you actually want to see all the form codes. So click on raw HTML. And Aweber gives an awful lot of code here. So what you're going to do is just don't get overwhelmed by it. Just scroll down nice and gently here until you see this area right here where it says form method post. The very what you want to grab is these first few lines here, okay? Right up to name and email. And then you want to copy those and then back over here in your text file. I've got a line here, paste your code below here. Just paste that code right below there, okay? Now, you're done over here. I'm just going to um, go back to the home here on Aweber. Now I'm going to put this text file in front here so you can just see it. This is your form code right here. I'm going to now, because you don't need this ID here, so I'm actually going to highlight this ID and I'm going to delete it. And now your code looks a little bit cleaner, so I'm going to just save this. And when you're watching this video, this when you download this um, text file, I'll leave this code in here just so you can have a sample of it. Do not put my code into your page or I'll be collecting your opt-ins and I don't want that. I want you to, to collect yours. I'm just going to leave this in here so you see what code snippets that you need to grab. So when you get to the next step in the process uh, and you're watching the video on how to integrate your Aweber with your system, you're going to need these values right here. The names and the values, the list name and the value, the redirect and the value. All right? And that is all there is to it, folks. So congratulations, you are done this step.